this is inevitably military or something going on. The government, the Air Force, they send out what's known as CHAP, and it's a way to experiment with the radar system. And when you see this kind of a pattern like this, you can rest assured there's something going on. They're actually little bitty magnetic and little bitty strips of, whether it's aluminum, you know, they, they change it, but what happens is the radar deflects off of all these little pieces And the number one reason you should visit New, Eng New Zealand. We well, have chemtrails too, just like America. There is a growing citizens movement uh, demanding an explanation of chemtrails. And I talked to my NSA buddies at Fort Carson, Peterson Air Force Base at Buckley, where I was actually their doctor taking care of the pilots flying and spraying the chemtrails. So I know it's real. If anybody says it's not real, they're full of it. Something they like. I don't wanna be right, but they got Luca. My lungs froze up, I'm in a doped up stupor. I still I caught a thought, woke up. Big city, I see why they got us huddled up in big cities. Depopulation control, they had to make it so, but take it slow. 80% in case you didn't know. But I guess you would have never expected it. How often do you look up and think about anything? Connected, your vision's limited. The playing tic tac toe in the sky, the shit's living. I never been discredited. Look, it's blowback, ready to go like aerosolized Prozac. Mayday, mayday, they're kicking our ass like Pele. I don't give a f what they say, cause they spray. conspiracy theorists thinks airplanes spray toxic chemicals into the clouds. They probably do, Gary. What would you know? You haven't been outside Don't in ten talk years. Back. Well, I saw one the other day on my way to Ben. One day it rained down with brownish goo when the whole town came down with flu. Cause the intention to weaken the population And why is NATO so deep in the operation In a decade the US claimed not only the weather To be used in warfare or any unknown endeavor Radio waves are powered as heaters At the ionosphere across thousands of meters The temperatures of 50,000 degrees Reducing huge storms and droughts as they please Mass destruction taking away liberties H-A-A-R-P Amtrax is being used in conjunction with heart By spraying metal oxygen into the air above enemy skies, then direct the ELF waves from heart to heat those metal oxides. The temperature of the sky is raised to more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit, preventing the accumulation of water vapor. Are we in denial or a comatose state? Welcome to the trial to own your own fate. Minds and bodies are under attack, and many other animal tracks have run into the trap. These hazy lines poison the entire food chain. Oh, this is the bright science new claim. They lie now about chemtrails above, but time will soon hammer in the nails of love. 
It's time to teach the youth how to make a new paradigm of peace and truth. We can resist most pathogens as boosted the immunity of hurting by warfare. Let loose in the community. Past the plane. Over the Allegheny. Over the Great Basin of the Mississippi. West and still west to the cold, high stillness of the Rockies. Unseen disaster comes creeping along the wings. Initially, enemy armies or populations can be exposed to, sprayed with, a very small amount of chemical or biological agent. The quantity of chemical or biological agent used may be so small as to be virtually undetectable. Following exposure, the enemy population may be targeted with microwave or radio frequency radiation in the exact resonance frequency of the chemical or biological agent used. The toxic agent will begin to resonate or spin and will react with much greater speed or activity within the bodies of the target population, similar to the behavior of enzymes that make life possible. This greater reactivity may be millions of times greater than normal and would behave as as if the person had been given a massive dose of chemical or biological agent, enough in fact to cause death. Cyclotronic resonance of chemical and biological agents allows entire armies or populations to be destroyed with only minute amounts of the agent in their bodies if they are attacked with non-lethal microwave weapons afterwards. It will be impossible to develop and deploy such a weapon without first testing it. These tests are actually being done on American citizens in their own homes.